Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins here for the foodie segment of Back Talk. I am honored to be in what everybody considers to be a staple of Burlington, the Cafe Escadrille. We're going to be able to talk to Mike Murray of the Cafe Escadrille as well as see some of the great things that they have to prepare for us today. It is really one of the things that those of us who've lived in Burlington for a long time know, a staple of the community. Join me. All right, everybody, we're here with Mike Murray of the Cafe Escadrille. Mike, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. We're really happy to be inside the Cafe Escadrille. I was saying it's really like a staple of Burlington. I understand you're celebrating your 50th anniversary next year. Next year, yeah, 50 years. It's amazing that it's been here because there's been such an evolution of the restaurant. I really feel like, obviously, it was just the restaurant at one point, and now we're sitting in your event section of the restaurant. So it's really evolved over the years. Yeah, it really has. So the original restaurant was open in 1973, so that'll be 50 years. But the function facility that we're in right now opened in 2003, so that, even that'll be 20 years. Which is wild. Yeah. Let's talk about the events first, and we'll get to the restaurant, because that really is the highlight of it. But the events section is quite remarkable, because the Cafe Escadrille offers something that I don't think there's much of in Burlington. I mean, how many people can you hold in, in the ballroom? In the ballroom, we can do up to 300 people. 300 people. When you think about the Escadrille and you think about restaurant space, there's really not many places where you can get 300 people in the room in Burlington. Right. We can get the people over on this side of the building, have a special event, and still do our regular business. Where other places might have to shut down part of their dining room to do an event or something along those lines. It's not fully private. We can keep people private and separated. And we have a separate line in our kitchen that's dedicated to putting the food out for this side and then another one for the restaurant. Separate parking. Separate parking, right. And yes, 300 people, but you service a whole lot of other things. Yeah, we do events from 12 people, private events from 12 people to... 300 plus people, depending on the event. I mean, I want to thank you because you, you're always a huge supporter of the Chamber of Commerce. We've had our black tie galas here. We've had the taste here. I mean, there's been a lot of things that have happened within Burlington that have had different things. You've always been part of all of these events with us. Yeah, no, we're happy to, to be able to contribute to that type of thing. Yeah, and so let's talk about the restaurant because that really is the special spot. I mean, this side has its own feel because of the eventing, but the restaurant itself, there are some staple things in the restaurant that have been always going on. But there's also now sushi at the bar, which I'm not sure people really would, would connect the two if they don't come into the Escadrille. If they didn't know, they wouldn't know. You know, we're not, you know, an Asian restaurant that would, you know, you would typically think of for sushi, but our sushi chefs are great. You know, they, I'd put them up against any other sushi chefs in the area. They do a great job putting it out and everyone raves about it when they do find out that we have it and they come in and it just, it really has worked out well for us. It's just, it's just a different thing just to try to mix it up so that we have something for everyone and that's like what our menu really is is trying to have something for everyone. Our seafood fettuccines is one of the items that we sell a lot in here and that is fredo sauce with shrimp, lobster meat and scallops and a little bit of cherry wine with shallots, butter and a little bit of a uh, heavy cream. You know you can come in with your family, your kids can get something that they'll enjoy or you come in with your parents and get something that they haven't had in a long time. They might not be able to get at a lot of other places. That's one of our uh, specials for the day today is a pot roast. It's been cooked for like six hours, probably more. And we start with the burgundy gravy, mashed potato and green peas. The veal catherine, it is veal cutlass, sauteed with butter, shallots, a little bit of cherry wine, heavy cream again, and finished with Madeira wine. And it has a full lobster tail, two sixteen twenty shrimp, and out of your hearts. And the layout of the Escadrille, so it's classic restaurant. You walk in and you kind of feel like you're home because it's that spot that everybody's been used to at the Escadrille. But the thing that I really have always been impressed on is the size of the bar, the ability to be able to sit around it. Everybody can see each other. It's a very social climate. Yeah. I know you have a pretty extensive wine list. Yeah, we have probably one of the biggest wine lists in Burlington, if not the greater Boston area. We have over 400 different wines from selections by the glass to selections by the bottle, ranging from every type of wine you could possibly look for. We have an in-house sommelier, you know, so anyone ha comes in with a question, they can make sure that they're going to get the, the wine that's right for them if they want to try something new or if they found something that, that they've enjoyed before. And then for those of us who aren't wine drinkers but maybe on the scotch side, yeah, we have quite a whiskey list, so scotch, bourbon, rye, Irish whiskeys, Tennessee whiskeys, all of that. We have too many to count. <laughs> Do you think that's gotten more popular? It has, especially like the bourbons. I think it used to be like you thought about the whiskeys and like scotches and Tennessee whiskeys, but the bourbons and the rye have really picked up recently over the last probably 10 years or so. Yeah. And there's all kinds of different ones coming out now too, so you gotta try to keep up with the trends. You know, okay, so now I always ask this question of people. If you were ordering food at the Escadrille, what's your go-to? 
I love all the food here, but if I had to go with my go-to, it would be the prime rib. Because yeah. not a lot of other places do it because it's kind of hard to manage. You know, you have to cook it in advance and you have to decide how many orders you're going to make in advance. So some places just don't do it, they don't want to bother with it. But other places that do, it's just, I don't know, to me it doesn't hold up. <laughs> the lamb lollipops. I would put that up against any restaurant. Boston, Burlington, it doesn't matter. Phenomenal, and that's not an easy thing to really no, make. No, no. Lamb is a tough one. Right. You have a signature Caesar salad. Yes, that we've been making for probably almost 50 years. And it's, you know, been award-winning. We've, you know, won awards with that, and our clam chowder is award-winning too. If you were to come here and you weren't able to find a menu item that you that you thought you'd like, I would be very, very surprised. I hope you enjoyed today's segment as much as I did. Everybody who knows the Cafe Escadrille knows it's been a staple in this community for now almost 50 years. As Mike said so perfectly a little earlier, there is something for everyone inside the walls of the Cafe Escadrille. For Backtalk, I'm Sonia Rollins.